All right, fam. So look, we are back at again with another crazy video. Now today's video, we got a privileged black man who feel like he can do anything he wants because he's black. Oh man, what a great time to be black in America. Well, we feel like we can do anything we want because you know, we always had the end of the stick. We always had this, we always did that bull crap. Anyways, without further ado, man, we finna go ahead and check out this video. But however, this video is coming from my guy, Black Conservative Perspective. So without further ado, let's enjoy both of our point of views. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy both of our point of views while we go back and back, back and back. You feel me? But without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. She's that. She's right there. Evidently. Don't touch me. Oh, no, no. You're assaulting me now. You're assaulting me. You're touching me. You're assaulting me. Thank you. No, you need to go to hell. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'll make sure I save a spot for you. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm back, and let me tell you, this time it's real. I just want to let everyone know, it's about to get real. I have been, I am about to be boycotted by every white media outlet in America. They will be coming for me. And let me tell you, I'm all gas and I'm ready. But not only that, I just want to let you all know that I did what I did and I said what I did and I stand on what I stand. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about a situation that is going viral on the internet involving a zesty man, right? That's what I'm going to call it. A zesty man who happens to be a TikToker, okay? He happens to be one of these people, okay, that chases clout for a living, right? So everywhere this person goes, they're going to try to be an agent of chaos. They're going to try to cause as much chaos as possible. It's just like the last guy that we've seen. I don't know if y'all remember the last video of the, the black man who was who thought he was just so entitled where like this a white person told him just to turn down his phone in public because I mean he's playing it out loud in a restaurant and like if somebody else could hear your phone like you know what I'm saying but that's this is not even that video but I'm just saying it's just like that a uh, situation where I looked through his whole entire TikTok and it's him causing the chaos. It's not even the white people. It's him call he will go to places where it's majority of white folks and he will cause a scene and get mad and call it racism when they come at him or kick him out. Like, this is the world we live in. And this is America. And this person who was on a plane and he happens to be black. The reason why I'm bringing up race is because he bought up his race, right? During this exchange that he had with a couple of women, a few women, because he decided that as he was getting off the plane, that he was going to push a woman who happened to be white out of the way because he did not want to wait for her to get her stuff. Now, everybody knows how getting off a plane works, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit more about it later in the video. But in a nutshell, this person, because they're a special snowflake, thought that they were entitled to get off the plane before anybody else. So they decided to push a, a woman out of the way, okay? And now they wanna play victim about it because they're getting a whole lot of backlash. Take a look. <laughs> I understand that we're all are waiting, but I under uh, well that's not how I work. I make the rules as I go. Well, it's well I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, I break well, them. Um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now too. Excuse me. Yes, we do. He is yes. soon. He's right. knocking people yes. over. Yes. Don't be rude to me because one thing I can do is be rude back to you. It's what I can okay. be. Okay. Oh. I am, but I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. I didn't push no damn body. You want to stand in a way like you're a bodyguard, I moved you out my way, is what I did. Huh? You're not worth it. It's not worth it. You're not worth it. I'm an African American, darling. I'm always worth it. You're rude. I'm a rude. I'm irritated. I'm urban. I'm everything that you don't want me to be. And guess what? Your camera, darling. Yes, it is. Where I go, you get me a good drink. I'll show you who the she want to record. I'll give her a show. Hey, everybody! Another round of eat that up. But I am here to not apologize to the mother at all. I am not sorry for any of my actions. My actions were intentional. Not only was they intentional, my actions were based on their actions and the way that they treated me. So I do want to make a very f clear point to a lot of people that's in the comments. I'm not going to say their names because who the f is that? But I want to make it clear that I do not 
go around just shoving women. That is not my intention. My intention that day was to say excuse me, get off the plane, because I've spent all day in travel. All travel, I'm tired, and I'm not gonna sit here and watch you pity and piss the down while I am tired and ready to go home. Hey everybody, now let me talk about this, and I want to talk about it and get it off my chest. First thing first, a lot of people are like, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Well, bitch, I'm not wrong. At that point on that plane, she used her body to block the aisle so I can't come through. After I said, excuse me, she blocked the aisle. Bro, I, see, I'm sitting here. It, it's already four minutes. I probably sat here for about five minutes looking disgusted. If you see my, I, I look disgusted. Why? It's because, Lily, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bro, everybody knows how a plane operates, okay? It, it, it's a lot. It's chaotic. Everybody's stuff is in the little, little buggy things. You got to wait till the person in front of you grab their stuff to move. And even when they grab their stuff, 9 times out of 10, it's not, the line is not going to move because it's people up in the front that's still trying to grab their stuff. You have to be patient. I don't understand why you feel like you was entitled to push the woman out your way. Oh, you run things around her. You make the rules. Who are you? Who are you? You just another black man in in America. That's all you are. You ain't nobody, like you ain't nobody special. Seriously, you ain't nobody special. None of us is special. I, I'm just trying to figure out why did you feel like you was entitled to even do that? I, and, you, and you said that she was blocking out with her body. Was that like a fat joke? Ha ha ha. I laughed. I really did it because it was lame. It was disgusting. It shows who you are. It shows your character. So I couldn't come through. We seen all of that in the video with her using her body, blocking the aisle. So that's just one thing. One strike, bitch. And another strike was I was not, it was not in any of my flight plans or any requirements that I had to wait for any passengers to grab their bags from the overhead bin when the doors are open and wait until they get their stuff and get off the plane. Nowhere in- If that, oh, okay, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let, I'm, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Mr. Zesty talk. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna let Mr. Zesty, I don't un understand what's all the, talk with your mouth, not your hands, like, come on, man. Gosh. Flight plans or any requirements that I had to wait for any passengers to grab their bags from the overhead bin when the doors are open and wait until they get their stuff and get off the plane. Nowhere in regulations on plane regulations that that exists. So it doesn't exist on plane regulations? Bro, if that's the case, then how about you take your behind and go fly first class if you don't want to wait? If that's the case, how about you uh, do an early bird check-in and you probably could sit in a front row and you can be the first one off the plane if that's the case. There's so many other ways that you could be off the plane first. You you can either do early bird check-in, you can pay that little extra fee, probably get on the plane first thing first, get your front row seat. Once it's time for them to open the doors, you at your destination, take your stuff, get off. Or better yet, how about you fly first class? How about you fly first class? First class probably ain't got to do deal with none of that. Well, how about you do a private jet? Because you really feel like you're entitled. And you're not. You don't run anything. You are nobody. Seriously, I don't understand why you feel like you're so entitled. You have so much power behind your name. The only person that has power behind their name is Jesus Christ. You're not him. You're not him. So I was not obligated to wait there. First thing, first. And second, with her using her body, keeping me there, I was fearing for my life. Why? Because I don't know what this lady's doing, you know? She's holding me hostage at this point against my free will. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to get through. Maybe she didn't like the way I bumped through. I didn't push her. I used my body just as well as she used her to move the fuck out of my way. Because I'm not required to stand here and wait for you to peel around and get your shit off the overhead bin. You should have been ready to go because I'm ready to go. It's been a long day and I need a drink and I'm tired. Guys, I mean, this is just, it's embarrassing. It really is. Some people don't really understand how much they embarrass themselves 
to civilized society when they go on TikTok and exactly. they try to get famous for yeah. clicks and likes exactly. and they think that this behavior in public is acceptable, right? Especially when these people are so delusional or so out of touch with civilized society that they don't understand proper plane etiquette. Right. This is what happens when you don't really fly. Right. When you never got on a plane before and all of a sudden you get on a plane for the first time and you don't know how to act. OK, you think you're bougie. You think that you're somebody that you're not. And you think that nobody can tell you anything that you're entitled to just do whatever you want. This is what happens. OK, every single time I see one of these videos of people who act like this on planes, they don't fly much. Right. They don't really get around much. They don't get out of the backyard much. And when they do. You know, for the first time, th th this is how they act. They don't know how to act. This person clearly does not understand plain etiquette. You're in the wrong. You're 100% in the wrong, and you should apologize. Because you push the woman out the way when the proper plain etiquette is to wait. Okay? Anybody who's ever got on a plane, on a plane or off the plane, it's the same thing. You go on a plane one by one. The aisles are narrow. Only one person can fit at a time okay so when you're getting on the plane you wait for the person in front of you to put their bags up before you proceed you don't just push them out the way because they're putting their bags up same thing if you're getting out off of the plane right if you're getting off of the plane the person in front of you you need to wait for them to get their bag and then you have to wait for everybody else to get off the plane before you get off the plane and that's the whole moral of the story. Seriously, that's the whole moral of the story. It's weighty. Wait, that's all you have to truly do. That's all you have to truly do. If y'all want to go see the full video of this and his full explanation, his full perspective, I, uh, I was going to say Officer Tatum, oh Lord, but I consider your perspective. If you want to see his full entire explanation, you can go to his channel. Uh, the title of the video is Zesty Man Cries Racism After Blacklash for refusing to apologize for pushing white woman on plane. That is the title of the video. You can find it on his channel if you want to see his full uh, his full perspective of uh, the whole entire video. Now, my whole perspective of everything, and I'm pretty sure Miho has the same point of views. You know what I'm saying? My whole perspective of everything is that you're not entitled to do anything. At the end of the day, you have to wait. When you get on the plane, you have to wait. It's all about patience. Okay, seriously, it's all about patience. That's like... If you get off work, it's been a long day for you at work. You just gonna start running through every red light that you see? Like, no. What you're gonna do, you're gonna wait. If the if the light turns red before you get to the line, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna wait until the light turns green. Patience. That's all. That's it. Patience. The fact that you pull out the way, you say you don't want to apologize, you talking very feminine like you really a woman when you're really not. You, you sitting there... You um, you acting like you're so much in the right when you're literally in the wrong. That's why you're getting so much backlash. Instead of having so much pride built up in in you, feel like oh, I'm just this king and I'm this and I'm that. How about you sit there and you reflect on what you did and you apologize? You don't want to apologize to her because she's a white woman. What what's the real reason? Why do you, why do some of y'all act the way y'all act? What is the real reason? Why do some of y'all have so much hate in y'all heart? Let me know what's the real reason. Maybe somebody can help y'all. Maybe I can help y'all. But man, so many people that got so much hate in their heart in this world and it's ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Zesty man cries racism. I like that. I zesty. Because you was. You was very zesty. And I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about the onion ring sauce that they give you at Burger King. No. You was very, you, you was sweeter than that sauce. <laughs> For real. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. I just messed up my entire intro. God bless. Dang. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. It's been a... I can't even say it's been a minute. I just made a video. Oh, yeah. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.